So, uh, okay, so bottom line, is this, do you guys all see, or uh, individually, do you see any issues of this, just call it out, racial discrimination at KBU? Yes. Something needs to happen. Something needs to take place to fix this problem. And it can't be anything less than management being replaced. You're watching Parent Voices Talk Radio Show for, by, and about the parents of African-American children. My name is Leisha Waddles, um, graduate North, of course. Been in program since my freshman year. Uh, Robert Hales, class of 97. I've uh, been working at 88.5 for about uh, 18 years. My name is Emmanuel Perry, graduate of 2011, and I'm currently a junior at the University of Minnesota. Been in the Jazz 88 program for four years, so freshman year to senior year. How long have you been a volunteer? Mm -hmm. Since I've graduated, I've come back. Okay, and Brother Emmanuel, what is your current, uh, current status in your relationship with the radio station? Well, I'm not an employee, not anymore. I worked there in the summer um, when I was at North High for four years, but right now I'm just, you know, volunteer. Ryan Zilla Jackson. I went to North High School. I lived on the South Side, came over here because of the radio station. I graduated 2008, and I have worked for this station from 2006 to 2008, and then I'm currently employed there now as a board operator. My name is uh, Cindy Lewis, and I worked on the, uh, as part of the development team of Pair Voices Talk Radio Show that was uh, broadcast here on KBM Radio. Let's talk, you know, it was a, a really interesting board meeting last time. Um, we, we finally got some testimonials uh, from um, current staff or volunteers at KBM. Can you talk about, initially, about your, your thoughts about maybe after the board meeting and uh, walk through the audience about why you even took that step forward to make the uh, statements that you did? Well, I mean, since that board meeting, I've been retaliated against again. Um, uh, written up for other issues again. Saturday, November 30th, 2013, African American members of the North High School community gathered to express great concern about the climate of racial discrimination at Jazz 88 FM KBEM. The group was represented by a majority of KBEM's current African American staff, volunteers, and previous independent community producers of programming featured on the MPS radio station. It's, it's just that time. Like, I felt as a graduate of North and being a part of KBEM, if I didn't stand up, then, I mean, like, no other student would probably, probably have known they have that voice, that same power, you know, and there needs to be change. The management, um, I, for example, I submitted a proposal on a show and I've come back several times asking what can I do to get involved and there's always an excuse or we'll get back to you later. I personally love being in radio and being on the air. I have a podcast that I do weekly, twice a week, uh, Friday and Sunday. I couldn't, I know for a fact that if I brought it to Michelle or any, anyone in the studio to have it played on the, sh on the station, it would get shot down immediately. And why is that? Because it's, I, I don't, I want to say it's because of who I am. Because I am a black African American male and I know I am working on a proposal right now that I could take up to KVSC and I could have a, an, an intense dialogue with the station director who I, or station manager who I know up there mm -hmm. very well. And I would take it down here to Michelle and it would just be a thing of no or it's not going to work or no. That's just the policy. What I was and, like, and it has to be air appropriate for the Minneapolis public schools okay. obviously. Um, um, the content has to be such that there's no um, mention of drugs or alcohol usage or um, bad language. Michelle Jansen, KBM program manager, had no problems reinforcing a station policy to an African-American producer. 
There seem to be obvious stereotypical concerns of a black music show format proposal. The suggestion of a no drug or alcohol reference was clearly not a standard in place for its white staff or volunteer hosts of KBM's blues, bluegrass, and Celtic formats. That was called Hot Toddy. That's from a local guy, Jimmy Price, and next time I see Jimmy, I'm going to have to ask him what was with the cocktail party sounds running through the piece Hot Toddy. Um, you know, I, I just want to say, um, preface everything, we're just saying I was highly, um, I was highly disappointed in um, what I saw in regards to uh, uh, some of the discriminatory practices um, that I witnessed here uh, at the station. As an outsider coming here as a, as a volunteer and working on a show that was uh, specifically uh, targeted at African-American um, students and families, this particular show had to be uh, vetted. Um, what do you mean by vetted? Vetted meaning it was reviewed um, by, by, by staff um, prior to its airing. Jazz 88 FM, they can get the show for five straight hours every Saturday uh, in the Central Time Zone from 7 till 12. 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. There's some huge discrepancies between what's allowed to air and what's not allowed to air. And unfortunately, what the, the music content that is allowed to air and, and what's not allowed to air is, is it's, there's a racial line that's mm -hmm. being drawn there. It's about the life of the Southern general in the Civil War, Stonewall Jackson. And here's the uh, leadoff CD, which is about the Shenandoah Valley, which was Jackson's home. I know that um, there are shows in, in, in different languages. Um, there are shows that have references to um, alcohol and, and um, you know, things of that nature, the Confederate flag. And I think it's a disservice um, that the station is doing to the black community. Um, the music, the content in terms of stories and information could definitely be adjusted to uh, reflect the people. I mean, as Ben said, you know, just got to try to get involved within the north side community with the black neighbor, um, the black community right here in the north side. The communication is, there's no good communication here. There is no communication. Um, I feel like the people that are here now, like, they've been here for so long that they've become comfortable, you know, like the way things are. They're not looking for change or improvement. Things do need to change with this station. I didn't want to get involved in this, but something needs to change. We are creating a petition to have the Minneapolis Public School Board remove the current station manager from KBEM, and we are encouraging people to sign that position. You have a voice, and we would appreciate it if you would use it. Look at the facts. Most people in North Minneapolis have never heard of Jazz 88. They're not even aware that it's here, and that's for a reason. The system is designed for you not to know about Jazz 88. Mm -hmm. Uh, we're, we're, we're talking about KBM Radio where, uh, and specifically the African American community. Um, we're obviously in North Minneapolis, but um, have, do you know that there's a, a radio station um, in North Minneapolis that's a community radio station besides there, KMOJ? No. My cousin goes here. I didn't know there was a radio station in there. Really? Yeah. Um, what, why don't you know? I, I don't know. I mean, I never never hear it, and I, like I said, I know people who go here, and they don't talk about it. Do you watch Parent Voices? I do watch Parent Voices. You're watching Parent Voices Talk Radio Show. 
for, by, and about the parents of African-American children.